We are joined by John Murray, Executive Director of the Westgate Superbook in Las Vegas. No pressure at all. Two weeks for you, two wins for you. I want to start first, though, because I'm selfish. San Francisco Green Bay. I am laying the points with the favorite. I'm hoping to get three, but it looks like you guys might have three and a half. Good luck to the Packers stopping the Shanahan running attack. We're at three and a half even at the Westgate Superbook, Sam. Save you the 10 cents. Everybody's on Green Bay. It's like four to one tick account on the dog. That spells trouble. It has in the past. Everybody bet Green Bay in the NFC Championship game two years ago at San Francisco, and the 49ers ran wild in that game on their way to an NFC title. That's a spot you can't make it four and a half, five, right? Because you're going to just write it down no matter what. Yeah, for sure. I mean, everyone's going to be betting Green Bay in that game. It's unusual to see the Packers as an underdog in prime time. And people forget how good San Francisco is because they missed the playoffs last year, decimated by injuries a year ago. Any sharp action? Any big bets you've seen behind the counter? In that game, yes. Some very sharp people took over 48 and a half and over 49 and totals at 50 right now for the Sunday night game. Very sharp players on the over in that spot. And I thought you said maybe some action on Kansas City and Los Angeles. The Chargers, perhaps? Yeah, the Chargers. The, uh, the, the ex-San Diego Chargers, now Los Angeles Chargers. They are always a popular play by the wise guys when they're a road dog. Regardless of the coach, the quarterback, the city that they call home, the Chargers are very popular road underdog for the wise guys. No different this week. They took seven, we're at six and a half. Yeah, wise guys also like to fade the Chargers when they're at home, which was advantageous last week against the Cowboys. Okay, you gave us the Browns week one. You gave us the Bears week two. Take it away. What do you got in week three? I think Miami is, is, is worth a look. Miami, they're plus four. There's some four and a half out here in Las Vegas. You know, it's a bit of an overreaction line. We had that line. We had this line as a pick -em, as the look-ahead line a week ago. Miami loses 35 to nothing to Baltimore. Two gets hurt. Now Jacoby Brissett's in there at quarterback. The Raiders are 2-0. and But we think the market is overreacting a little bit here. Dolphins might be worth the look on Sunday. I agree, but I'm not going to steal your thunder. That is the pick from John Murray. We're going Finns in the Westgate Super Contest. We'll talk to you next week.